Hello everyone, this is the task 3 of the web development internship and in this task we have to create a student research management system. So in this we will be having many features, we will be keeping the record of the students uh, joined in the school and their marks and their uh, results will be published, we can access that and the students can access their results as well. So we will be using uh, PHP, SQL and other um, programming languages to create this um, project. Yeah. So here we'll be using the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and MySQL. So let me show you how the final result will look like. This is the student result management system. Here we'll have uh, two options for students and for admin. For student means if you want to search your result, you, will, you should click here, and then after that you'll be um, writing your roll number here and selecting a the class, then find. Then uh, your result will be displayed. And the second option is the admin part. In this, we'll have the username and the password. So if I write here admin, and the password is also the same admin for this um, project, I've uh, kept the same password. So when the password and the user ID matches, it authenticates the user, and we'll be uh, moving on further with the dashboard. Right? This is the dashboard here, and here we have four options: registered users, subjects listed, total classes listed, and results declared. And the dashboard is here, who will be uh, the one who will be using it. The classes data will be shown here, create class and manage class. And the, in the same way, we have the subject data and the students data and the result data. And if I want to change the password, it will be going through here. And this is the profile of the user. His name will be displayed here. And this is all for the uh, project. If you want to minimize this one, we can use this option here. And to maximize it, we can use this option. And uh, by using these features, we will be implementing the um, student um, registration management system. Let me show you the code part. In the code part, we will have these uh, files here, which will be the database, CSS, images, and including other features, the other files like HTML and all, JavaScript, and SASS. And here we have the PHP files for each of those uh, features like add result, add student, add subject combination, create the classes, download the result, and edit the subject, and so on. Right. So these are the PHP files which will be implemented uh, and by using these files we will be implementing the main project. So a file looks like this, we will have the, in the starting part we will have uh, question mark PHP and here we have all the functions like submit, student ID and all it's uh, um, specified here and these are the links which are used in this uh, particular file and moving on we have all these functions which will be used to carry out the task which we are um, intending to perform and this is the file for add student.ph, add result.php. In the same way, all the other files are also written. And this all for the uh, internship uh, part uh, 3 task. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.